today. I want to discuss that there is a science to achievement. Although some people uh, might not know what that science is, and because they don't know and they're not aware of it, what happens is that we tend to um, let outside conditions control us. We tend to let things like the environment and what's going on right now control us. Uh, if you guys don't mind, put a, a yes in the chat just so I can see that you guys are hearing me okay. And um, if that makes sense to you are, you, are you being controlled in some way, shape or form of what's going on right now? Is it affecting your business? Is it affecting your relationships? Is it affecting your mental state? Okay, awesome, awesome, a bit. Okay, so we're gonna work on that because we don't want it to affect you in any way, not even a little bit. Um, now, uh, to get the most benefits from this masterclass, what I'd like to encourage everybody to do is grab a pen and a paper. You're definitely gonna wanna take some notes. Uh, some of the information might be repetitive. You might've seen it before either on my own uh, masterclass or maybe yesterday's masterclass, but that's irrelevant because the repetition of it is the key to what we're trying to get. So pen and paper for some notes, uh, suspend all your disbeliefs and doubts for those of you who this is new information to, and um, just take in the information. You'll understand a lot more about it as it comes through. Now, also, if you can silence your phone, um, shut off all the other tabs because there might be bandwidth issues, especially the social media stuff, because they say once you're fully engaged, 70 to 90% of the information that you're going to hear is going to be retained. While being preoccupied with other things, you're going to retain 10 to 20%. So this is good stuff. You're going to want to retain it. <laughs> and then uh, tell your spouse, your friend, your relative, your kids, whatever, to leave you alone for a little bit because you guys are actually discovering and learning the science of achievement, the science behind achievement. Um, now, in every recession, there has been um, people who have won big time. And this is pretty close to the Great Depression or a recession in some way because a lot of it is affected worldwide businesses we're affected in ways that we don't even know yet however i personally know a few people not a few quite a few who are making things happen like never before during this time while many are stuck and are getting depressed and are not making things happen so i'm not sure if you're aware of this but there's always a way to accomplish wealth there's always a way uh, to move away from the thinking of the masses and create what you want to create in your own uh, mind, in your own reality, in your own environment. Now, let me ask you this. Do any of these relate to your thinking? Um, and you guys can just drop a one or a yes in the chat so I know you're with me and that you guys are interacting. But uh, are you feeling anxious about not knowing uh, what's going to happen? Because none of us really do. Um, you tend to procrastinate on sales calls, follow-ups, put yourself out there on the line and expose yourself during these times because you might feel a certain way. Um, wondering if a uh, really high level of success is even possible for you in these challenging times, right? Because that's a big one for most people. Um, unsure if your business is going to make it through the next weeks <laughs> i've had some people who really are unsure if that's going to happen or not um wondering if uh now is the right time to actually get started on a new business or invest in yourself some people tend to think it's not but after the information you're going to see today you might think differently because this is a great time um, feeling anxious in any way because you don't really know what's going to happen, right? So it kind of relates to the first one. But the idea is this. So a little bit about myself. Um, I am a, what you call a serial entrepreneur. I've always been open to starting and selling and, you know, creating new businesses. However, I had um, a bit of a spill, if you may call it, 
back in uh, 08, 09 um, time, which was a lot like this. It was a big thing going on in the US and it affected the entire economy in North America. And because I was in the investment business, I got kind of shambled into it. And a lot of worry, doubt, and fear, and all kinds of things that you see on the screen right now started entering my mind because I did not have anything to fall on. I just kept going about what, what was happening in my life. Things were good. And then all of a sudden, I just got smacked out of it. I, the, the carpet got pulled out from under me, and I allowed all the negative thinking and all the negative fears to take hold of me which led me to a very dark place and pretty much nothing I tried or touched after that seemed to work until I ran into Bob Proctor and uh, started studying some of the information. Then I took his coaching program, got mentored personally by him and everything changed because he explained some things to me. He opened my world up and he explained how change happens, what actually creates our reality showed me how to shift my thinking. So all those negative thoughts turned into positive thoughts. And right away, my environment started changing. I started attracting new business, new opportunities, new clients from almost like magical, but it wasn't magical. It was based on a specific approach. It was based on a science behind achievement. What really makes people understand a lot of it comes from awareness. Now, you might have seen this, these slides from before. I, I simply wanted to go over it again because awareness is the key. This is where it all happens. The science behind achievement is all due to how much awareness you have of what the science is and what those little specific things are. Now, let this dot represent your level of awareness. And you'll notice that, you know, what you have today is pretty much based on what your level of awareness is. However, if you move forward with some knowledge and awareness and you're, you grow in your awareness, then what happens is we essentially turn on the light. And when we turn on the light, we eliminate the darkness that has kept us stuck in where we are. Not in a good way, bad way, that's irrelevant. Wherever you are today is based on the awareness that you have. And that's the reason where you are today. The results dictate where you are, right? Now, there's a saying that uh, it's a sad thing when a child uh, is afraid of the dark, but it's even a more sad and more scary thing when an adult is afraid of the light. You'd be amazed how many people are scared in turning on the light and discovering the truth within them, discovering who they truly are and their full potential, right? Now, the only way to really raise your awareness and to grow and to be able to get yourself out of whatever state you're in to wherever you wanna to get to is to grow in awareness. And the only way to grow in awareness is effective education combined with professional coaching. Brian, in yesterday's webinar, when if you guys were there, talked about this, that no one does it without a mentor. Um, even Bob, he's had seven mentors. I didn't see any change in my life until I actually got mentored by Bob and started working with other mentors who taught me what I needed for business. Um, and then over a reasonable period of time, like for thinking into results and most of the programs that we run in our company and in, in my coaching, it's done over a stretch of a, a several weeks, right? It's done over either three months, six months, sometimes a year we work with clients because over a period of time is when your awareness grows. And depending on the awareness level, that's when the quality of life changes. For instance, a person that's earning a, a hundred thousand a year, it's not because he wants to earn a, or she wants to earn a hundred thousand a year. It's because they're not aware of how to earn it in a month. Now, it's not a lot of money, it's not little money, it doesn't really matter. It's all relevant to what you compare it to. Somebody who, may, who used to make or is making a million a month, they're gonna laugh at 100 a month. But yet somebody who makes 100 a year, that's a far-fetched stretch for them unless they realize their true potential, gain the awareness of who they are, and then be able to attract it to them. Just hit a yes or a one if you guys, if this is making sense and resonating with you. I just want to make sure that everybody still hears me and are here. Um, but essentially, 
everything that you are seeking in your life is actually seeking you by the law of cause and effect. Now, I'm going to get into something that you guys have probably seen before. I'm going to explain to you how the mind works, right? Now, we think in pictures. So if I ask you, what does uh, your fridge look like? You automatically see the fridge flash in front of your eyes. If I ask you, what color is your car? You see the car flash in front of your eyes. Hit a yes if you, if you agree with that. If I ask you what your favorite dress or suit looks like, what's the first thing that pops into your mind? Is it the suit? Do you see it in front of you? Right? Now, when, when we're asked, what does the mind look like? I know when I was asked, uh, I had a blank picture. So if you guys don't mind, what, what was the first thing that popped into your mind when you first heard this information? Because I know some of you have already seen this. Right. Um, I know for myself, it was the brain. Ahmed, I agree. My, mine was also the brain. Now, the brain is a, is a physical uh, matter. So it cannot be the mind because the mind is a non-physical activity, actually. Mind is energy. And everything is energy. So because we don't have a clear picture of what the mind looks like, this is the picture that we've created. And it's not us that created it. This is what we share with all the clients and everyone in PGI. Bob Proctor said this was the greatest thing he's ever discovered in his life. It was actually created by Dr. Thurman Fleet uh, back in 1934, who realized that as a healer, we weren't healing holistically. We were just treating the body, but no one would treat the mind because no one's seen the mind. And he's the one who created the stick person vision. He drew a circle and called it the mind. He drew a nut and then he split it in half. He called the top portion the conscious mind, the bottom portion the subconscious mind. And then he drew the stick person where is the body. Now, the reason why the circle on top is so much bigger than the circle at the bottom is because that's actually what it's like. Your mind is the greatest tool there is. It's the greatest power that there is. And it's in full control of the thing you call a body. It's the machine that you're living in. It's what you drive, what you operate. But it's all coming from your mental activity, from your mind. Not only from your mind, most, most of it is coming from your subconscious mind. Okay? Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up, the stick person again, is number one, repetition is the key. Number two, it's for you to understand, based on where you are right now, why certain things have and haven't come to you yet and what may come to you moving forward as you gain this awareness. So, you know, school gives us a lot of valuable knowledge. It teaches us in the conscious mind a lot of information. They fill in the books. They give you a test to see if you gathered the information and they kind of leave it at that. What school never teaches us on and doesn't explain to us is that we have a thing called a paradigm. Now, paradigm is a multitude of habits. Paradigm is your running computer code in your master computer, in your subconscious mind. And paradigms are what control your entire being, right? So we frequently actually have a lot of knowledge and we acquire knowledge and we get trained in our jobs and in our work and in our companies how to do better. The problem is, is we're running with an old code. So it doesn't matter how much information you already know. The fact is when you look at your results, they might not match up to what you already know. And that's because of your paradigms, their old conditioned way of thinking, right? Does this make sense to everybody so far? I just wanna check the chat quickly. Um, S1 brain, okay, perfect. So, um, now, this causes great confusion. It causes uh, confusion because when we are aware that we learn something new, how come is it that we don't necessarily produce a new result? And this is what frustrates most people. And this is what leads to, um, you know, all the things that are not working right in our life. This is what led me to my thinking when back when I kind of lost everything that uh, the company was going and nothing started going. I, did, I gathered new information. I couldn't understand based on the programming why I couldn't see the results. Now, we can use the newfound awareness that we talked about to create new paradigms. 
so we can shift the code, so we can upgrade our operating system. And by doing so, we get to actually cause new actions, which are caused through our body, through our physical being, and we create new results, right? Now, those new results change everything in our life based on the new conditioning and the new code because now we're able to actually make use of that which we already knew from before or the new information we gathered. Now, one of the biggest things to the science of achievement is the science um, of getting rich. It's a book that was written by Wallace D. Wattles. I don't know if any of you, how many of you have heard of this book or have ever read it? I just wanna kinda see if you guys can put a yes or a one in there in the chat or a two for a no. <laughs> Okay, amazing, amazing. Uh, anyone else? Okay, so some of you have, some of you haven't. Um, now, the science of getting rich was written by Wallace D. Waddles back in 1900. It's actually the book that The Secret, the movie The Secret is based on. And the whole idea of it is Wallace D. Waddles talks about the process in which riches come to you. Right now, he sums the entire book up into a syllabus, and that's the one I want to share with you. Now, it's a little bit long, but I'm going to take you quickly through it so you guys can understand it. There's a thinking stuff from which all things are made, and which, in its original state, permeates, penetrates, and fills the interspaces of the universe. Now, what does that mean? It means that everything is energy, and as energy travels throughout the universe, we see all things in creation manifest, right? So there is a thinking stuff, which is energy, from which all things are made. Um, your body, the, the trees outside, the desk you're sitting behind, the chair you're sitting on, it's all made out of energy. It's just different levels of vibrations, right? Now, all this energy permeates, penetrates, and fills the entire universe. Everything that exists in the universe comes from one single source. And that's what he explains in that syllabus. A thought, a thought that you create in your conscious mind that is created in this substance because the mind, the conscious mind, is still a non-physical. So it's an energy form, just like the rest of creation. So a thought in the substance produces the thing that is imaged by the thought. So if you want money, for instance, you imagine to yourself the amount of money that you want and you will manifest that amount. Let's say you want a relationship or relationships in your life. If you hold that thought in the substance, in the non-physical form, which is your mind, you are sure to create it in the physical because it's all one. You can form things in your thoughts, and my thoughts, but in your thoughts, and by impressing your thoughts upon formless substance, you can cause the thing that you think about to be created. So whatever you guys are thinking in your mind most of the day, it is being impressed on that substance, that energy, that subconscious. And that signal goes out of you and into the universe the universe must in turn create that in physical through your actions, right? In order for you to do this, in order for you to create from the thinking to the physical, you must pass from the competitive, most unaware are always competing. And you can see this. You can see this in most of the people that are running businesses. They're always competing, worried that there's not enough to go around. So you must move from the competitive to the creative mind. The ones that have figured this out, the successful 1% of the world, they don't compete. They have no competition. They create. They create their own vision. They create their own product. They create their own ideas. And they just move forward with it. You must form a clear mental picture of the things that you want. And you must hold this picture in your thoughts right? With a fixed purpose that you're going to get what you want and the unwavering faith that you will get that. And with a closed mind, 
to all that may tend to shake your purpose, dim your vision, or quench your faith. Meaning, once you have an idea of what you want to achieve, you must hold that vision and continuously repeat it so that your subconscious mind, your code, your paradigm, accepts it and changes and starts to move into action regardless of anyone that is outside of you that is going to, you know, waver you, that is going to take you away from your vision or your purpose. And then so that you may receive that which you want when it comes to you, because action is important, you must move into action so that it, and act upon the people and the circumstances that are in your environment now. This is where action comes in. You hold a thought in your mind, you repeatedly hold on to it so that the formless substance can take shape and form, send that signal out, block out all the negativity around you, all the people that say why it can't be done, all the people that you ask, oh, what do you think, which they're not thinking anyways, you block all that out and you hold it in your thoughts and you move into action where you are right now. The people that are in your life, the company where you're at, you move into action and you start doing things, right? Now, the key is goals. Goals is what directs your mind to where you want it to go. Goals is what we set in order to achieve something out of us to where we want to get to. And there's three types of goals. We explain in, in PGI and as a consultant, I always talk to, to my clients about this. There's an A-type goal, which is something that you already know how to do, right? Um, if we give an example of, let's say you want to run one mile. Um, you already know how to do that and you go ahead and you do that. Now, let's say you have the next type of goal, which is a B-type goal. The B-type goal is something that you think you can achieve. If you practice, if you do all the right things, if you get yourself a trainer to train you and everything, then your B-type goal to run a five mile or kilometer run can be, um, can be manifested. And you will reach that goal because any goal that's held in the mind becomes a reality. The problem is, is that it's based on things that you already know how to do and you think you can do, but it's not a C-type goal. A C-type goal is a far-fetched goal. For example, the same example as the running. Let's say you want to get into the Olympics. Well, the same guy who runs one mile is not going to be able to do the Olympics. It's a far-fetched goal. However, you don't have to know how you're going to do it. You just have to know that you are going to do it. You don't have to dictate the formless substance in order for it to create it for you. You just have to hold a thought in the formless substance. This is the science of achievement. This is the science that Wallace D. Waddles wrote about in The Science of Getting Rich. It's about holding an idea of wanting to be in the Olympics, of focusing on it and implanting that idea into your subconscious mind and sending it off to the formless substance. And then blocking out anybody who gets in your way who tells you, come on, man, how are you going to do this? There's no way you're going to achieve this goal. Blocking that out and going after your goal. That is the way to achieve any type of goal. You take it from fantasy, which is originally that's what it becomes. And you, uh, you have to ask yourself two things. That's all you need. Two things. Am I able to do this? Now, being an infinite being without any restrictions without any conditions you are able to do anything so the answer should definitely be yes am i able to because if somebody else did it you can do it also now the second part is very important as well are you willing to are you willing to do what it takes are you willing to go through what it takes in order to achieve your goal somebody who's not willing to go through the trouble and the study and the mental conditioning and the exercise on a daily basis to run in the Olympics will never achieve it. Somebody who says I'm able to because I know others have done it and I will be shown the way because formless substance has no limits and you are formless substance. You came from the same energy. And are you willing to? And if you say yes to these two, it goes from fantasy to a theory. This is where you start thinking about it and start moving into action. You start 
looking for the right coach. You start looking for the right people who can help you get there. You start interacting with team members who can help you along the way. You start looking for the resources that might be required in order to get to the Olympics. I'm just giving an example of the Olympics. And eventually it becomes a reality. You end up there. You end up there because you follow the proper procedures by saying that you're willing and you're able to, right? Now, you have to challenge yourself to always have a C-type goal. Whatever your number is per month, if it's money we're talking about, you want to challenge yourself to the point where it scares you, but excites you at the same time, right? So you want to go for what you really want in life, not for settling for a B-type goal where you think you can achieve it, or even worse, an A-type goal where, you know, you already achieved it, so there's no growth. Now, paradigms is what's going to hold you back. Paradigms is what gets in the way because it's the code that's running. You have a goal in your conscious mind. It won't take effect until it becomes in your subconscious mind. Your paradigms are the ones that are going to get in the way. Not all paradigms are bad. Some paradigms are good and the good ones help us succeed. And those are the ones that we always try to teach to our clients, to our um, the people that follow the work at PGI, it's all about shifting paradigms. So you can actually instill automatically everything that will get you to your goal versus having the bad paradigms, which is your non-productive activities, which is your bad habits that get you away from your goal. That's the problem. Most people are stuck with their old code. They're stuck in ignorance. I'm not calling anybody a good or bad name. They just don't know any better. Now, where did you get them? Where are these paradigms from? They're actually from other people. They're actually instilled in you when you're a little child. It's also passed on through generational. So your great grandparents passed on their belief system and their behaviors and everything that they've been conditioned to your grandparents. Your grandparents passed it on to your parents and your parents with all the love and care that they wanted for you just didn't know any better. So they gave you everything that they had, but they passed on their limiting beliefs and their programming onto you as a child. Now, here you are today as a grown up, And the problem is you're stuck with the old paradigms. So they're getting in your way. The reason why the science of achievement might not be working in your life is because those paradigms are getting in your way. And how do you eliminate that? By making a decision. It's the only way. For those of you who were able to catch the webinar that we did last night, you would have seen Brian talked about making a decision. You have to take full possession of your mind and decide that you're no longer going to live like that. You would have seen this this particular slide as well. This is one of the greatest tools ever. I'm going to send you guys all a PDF of this as well. By the way, a replay of last night's webinar, which was phenomenal, and a replay of this as well. So you'll have all this information. But most of the people that are not choosing to grow, are not choosing to invest in themselves, are stuck in ignorance. Now, I'm ignorant in certain things. Um, you know, I'm ignorant when it comes to, let's say, taking my engine apart and putting it back together and fixing my car up. I have no idea how to do that. I don't even care to learn it. But I know that if I wanted to, I could learn it. So ignorance is not a bad word. It's just the fact Most of us are ignorant to certain things in our life. The problem is most of us are ignorant to how our mind works. And when we're ignorant to how our mind works and how universal laws work, that is where you get trapped. That is where you always get caught up with negative ideas in your conscious mind, which is the top portion, which is up here, right? You get caught up with negative ideas up here. Those negative ideas cause worry and doubt in your thinking that gets transferred into your subconscious mind as a negative feeling, which creates fear in your body, which actually takes effect in your body, which is a physical thing that you're living in. And you feel anxiety. You want to procrastinate. You don't want to move into action because you're scared. You're worried. You're doubtful. You don't know what's going on. All those things that I had in the first slide in the beginning. What happens is you suppress those feelings. You internalize them. It causes depression and it causes dis-ease. 
right? We always hyphen that word. It's not disease, it's this ease because it's the opposite of the natural, which is ease. And that causes our disintegration. That is the only thing that causes our disintegration. When we are in a positive vibration, when we acquire knowledge and choose to get away from ignorance, when we understand that we are energy, we don't get energy, we are energy, and we actually release energy. We never get tired. We never get tired when we're creative, when we're anxious, when we're excited, and we want to share with everyone what we're doing. Through study and understanding, you can start holding positive thoughts in the same conscious mind, which was once before held with negative thoughts. That's the slide I showed you of where I was before and where I came into thanks to this, this type of information. Those positive thoughts started developing positive feelings in my subconscious mind. I built faith. I stopped worrying, right? I, I started like faith and fear both require and believing in something that's not really there. You're giving energy to one or the other. So you might as well give it to the one that serves you. Faith serves you. Fear destroys you. I was living in fear until I discovered more information, chose to study, chose to get understanding and awareness, and I moved into faith. I started feeling better. I started feeling ease. I was at ease. I started expressing myself and accelerating in everything I did. I started doing more in one day than most people could do in a week or a month. I never felt tired, ever. I still don't. I can go for hours and days and then finally I'll take a nap because my body needs the rest, but not because I'm tired. I just need the machine to take a rest. And that's the creative process. That, once you understand this theory, once you understand how this works, you understand how you work, you can set the goals that you want. You can take those goals and implant them in your subconscious mind so that it changes your paradigm and becomes autopilot for success instead of autopilot for destruction, right? Now, the idea is you have to make a committed decision. You got to decide that you're going to go for what you want. You're going to decide, you got to make a decision. There's a big difference between being interested because this information is very interesting, isn't it? Right? Put a yes or no in the comment if you found this information interesting. Let's, let's, let's hold off there because I got one other thing I want to share with you and then we'll go into a little bit of Q&A. But let me just see a yes and see if it resonates with you guys. I'll give it a second. I'll let everybody answer. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Good. Okay. So because I know that you guys are more interested in developing yourself, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Something brought you to this point. Something connected us. There's a reason why we met today. There's a reason why you're watching this today. And maybe you have caught yesterday because you're ready for a change. You're, you're, not, you're not letting yourself get affected by what's going on anymore. Enough is enough. When you make a committed decision, you're no longer just interested in something. So you're not just going to do it if it's convenient for you. You're going to do it no matter what. So you get the results that you want and you accomplish everything that you want to get done in your life. You create your life. No more excuses. You want a better body? Come join my workouts in the mornings. You want a better body? Just go to the gym once they reopen. You want a better body? Watch what you eat. Make that decision. Stop eating the stuff that you know is making you sick. You want better relationships? Make a committed decision. Reach out to people. Connect with them. Explain to them how much they mean to you and that everything revolves on relationships. You want to have financial freedom? Make a committed decision and understand the science of getting rich. And there is no stopping you because it's a science. It's not theory. It's scientific. It's step by step by step by step that leads you directly to results. Simple, straightforward. None of this information requires a university degree. As a matter of fact, you can take your university degree and put it in one place. And I'm not going to say that because I don't want to swear on a webinar. You need information that is effective, that works on your mind so you can implant everything you've studied before and make it work. I want to introduce you guys to a package that we have available right now. 
And this is an amazing investment for anybody. I'm going to break it down for you so you understand how much value you're going to get. But I highly recommend This was one of my favorite programs when I went with Bob Proctor through the coaching program. One of my ultimate favorite. It's called The Science of Getting Rich, the same as the book by Wallace D. Waddles. Bob has studied that book from 1968 all the way through to today. That book is what started um, Nightingale, Earl Nightingale and, uh, and his partner started their company, Lloyd Conant, is the one that introduced Bob to this book. It's the reason why uh, Rhonda Burns created the movie The Secret. It was based on the information she gathered from The Science of Getting Rich. I summed it up in that syllabus. I know it was kind of long, but that's what the whole book is about. It's about that there is substance. If you learn how to work with that substance, if you understand that you are part of that substance, if you understand that you hold a thought in that substance, that substance, the non-formless, will create everything you want. So here's how the program goes. Here's what you're going to get. And check out this value. Tell me if it's not crazy. You get the entire science of getting rich program, okay? Not only is this course amazing, but this course will empower you to produce wealth, true wealth. Now we're talking about money. Yes, the one thing that you actually want, because when you have money, you have time to take care of your health. When you have money, you have time to spend it with your loved ones. When you have money, you can increase your relationships and go out and enjoy time with others once freaking Corona stops. <laughs> That's a joke. But when you have financial freedom, you're able to live your fullest expression. That's why when it comes to science of getting rich, this particular one is about getting wealthy because you need to have the freedom to be able to do anything you want in this monetary system of ours. That's a $10,000 value, okay? The streaming club, the streaming club for one year access, this is a $1,200 value because streaming club is $99 a month. And what it is, is every two weeks, there's a new segment from Bob or Sandy or Peggy McCall, and they do a one hour lesson or a 20 minute lesson about some new information right? It, you consistently grow because it keeps coming up and up and up. They discuss different sources of income and everything. It's absolutely amazing. You get the digital workbook. It's a 210 page workbook. Bob talks about all the universal laws in there, like law of cause and effect, like law of uh, gender, law of opposites, law of uh, gestation. There's all kinds, all kinds of laws. And he explains all of them. So you understand how the universe works and how you operate. Six minutes to success. Six minutes to success. I've been a member of for the last four years. It's 20 bucks a month and you get a video every morning in your email box from Bob. He gives you a quick lesson, like a minute and a half, two minute lesson. And then he gives you a little exercise for about four minutes to get your mind set in the right form for the day. And you're off. You're off six minutes start of the day and you go. You go achieve everything you want to achieve. You get that included. Success Puzzle is another program that Bob created where he took the definition of Earl Nightingale's definition of success, which is the, progress, uh, the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. Success puzzle takes those statements and breaks it down. And it shows you if you're progressively moving towards your worthy ideal. He explains what a worthy ideal is. He explains all that stuff in a completely separate program that's included right now. Bob is only doing this, please understand, because of what's happening in our economy, in our economy and our economic state, right? So he wants to help. He wants to get rid of this nonsense that everybody is affected by, and he wants it to keep going. Now, um, winning the mind game. There's 12 principles in that. Plus, I'm going to include a couple of bonuses. Myself, I'm going to do a one-on-one -on -one private coaching sessions with four of them, okay, included in the program at no extra charge. And for a second bonus, I'm going to include the live stream ticket to the May 1st event. There's a science of getting rich three day event, which is 147 us dollars to sign up. 
you get that included for purchasing the science of getting rich. Now, here's the best part. The entire thing that's on the page right now, everything that you see there right now is only $9.97. That's US dollars, but it's $9.97. And to make it even easier, there's the option of breaking it down into four payments. All right, so you can do four separate payments at 300 apiece and you get everything that you see listed there, All right? So I wanna encourage you guys, for those of you who are doing TIR with me, you can speak to me about getting the ticket to the live event, the three-day event, because that's going to be an amazing, amazing event to attend. And you can stream it live and you can re-watch it anytime you want, right? Um, but also, I highly encourage that you think about investing into this because we can't keep doing this for everybody. I personally am not doing this for everyone. I'm doing this for the first 10 people that sign up because the free coaching is a lot of time on my time. And I'm going to hold everybody through this process and make sure that they understand the science of getting rich and the science of achievement. And the price, you can't even touch it, right? Um, it's amazing. It's, it's tons of value for a thousand bucks or even easier, four payments of 300 bucks. Um, you can either go to the bit.ly link that I have on the screen right now, or if you have on your phone, a QR scanner, you can scan the QR code and you will get that as well. I'm going to follow up with an email as well to let you know how to get to this. Now, for those of you who are interested in what Brian talked about yesterday, I encourage you and welcome you to get on a free half an hour coaching session with me where we can discuss what it is that you want to achieve what it is that you're doing right now, what your goals are, and we can discuss thinking into results, which is our master program. That's where we work with you for six months. There's 24 weeks with 24 coaching sessions that are one-on-one. -on -one. And then on top of that, um, you get all the videos, you get all the workbook. It's an incredible program that has changed hundreds of thousands of lives. So I encourage you to take action to move into form that which you want by either signing up for the free session to discuss the TIR program or just go to this link and you can sign up directly on PGI website and take advantage of this incredible deal. Think about it. It's $997. Out of that, only $147 you can take off right away because you're going to attend the live uh, presentation. That's never free, not even for us consultants. We pay because we understand the value of watching Bob directly talk to us and work with us for three days in a row. And we get the replay. For 30 days, you get to replay it. So imagine how much value there is and it's still only $147. If you take off $147 out of that, you're at like $850 bucks for everything that I mentioned. Just my personal sessions one-on-one -on -one with you are worth the, the difference. How's that for a bonus? So let me, let me see if any of you guys, what you think of this. Um, also, I want to encourage you, if you have any questions, we have a few minutes before I, I, I'm getting off and uh, I want to wish you guys a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for joining us uh, this live presentation. But uh, I do want to hear from you. Any, any questions, any comments? Uh, just put it in the chat. I'd love to do a little Q&A session. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I see great presentation. Thank you very much. I hope it really, really uh, brought value, uh, explained a lot of things. I know some of the things are repetitive, but it's about the repetition that makes it sink in. So I hope the, the information uh, you, uh, you enjoyed. Um, greetings from New England. Hello. Hello. How are you? Sorry, how do I pronounce? Is it Nefertiti? Interesting. What an amazing name. Thank you. Thank you for joining. So if no one has any questions or, you know, if you don't uh, commit a decision, 
not about me. Committed decision is not about myself. It's about her. Yes, agreed. Committed decision is not about maybe yes, maybe no, one day, maybe so. Never. Committed decision is doing things even when you're not ready for them. I'll give you an example, guys. When I became a consultant with Bob Proctor, it is a huge investment to become part of the company and to be in the business. But, and I was not in a place where I was able to do it, but I made the committed decision and I made it happen. It is true what Bob tells us. When you make a decision, the way is shown, the how appears. And it's so true. All of a sudden, certain ideas started popping into my head. All of a sudden, I was able to do things that I wasn't doing before that actually helped me pay for the decision that I made. And it was the best decision I ever made. And now what we're doing is we're sharing our knowledge and our awareness with as many people as we can, right? And that's where the benefit of thinking into results or a program like this. A program like this, coupled with my coaching that I'm offering as a, as a freebie in here, plus the three-day event where you're going to get Bob explaining every detail to you in a three-day intensive seminar, there is nothing to, for you to ever need to think about. You just need to make a decision that you're going to do it. And I promise you, once you figure out this science behind getting rich and achieving what you want, your whole world is going to change. That is a guarantee, right? So yes, agreed. A committed decision is where it's at. Um, delighted to connect with you. Uh, email, right, Maya. Perfect. Thank you very much. Yes, and I will be sending the emails out uh, with the recording of this, um, the information with the link as well for anybody who's interested. Now you got to act a little bit fast because right now it's the 24th. Within a week is the live stream event. You're welcome to join this program later. I don't know how many things are going to be included in it. Definitely not the live stream because the live stream is already going to be done. Um, you might get the replay of it, but there's nothing like being live when you can submit a live question to Bob and the audience that are there. Um, perfect. So thank you guys. It's a pleasure. Uh, let me just see. I see. I